Morning guys, getting ready in Delilah's room because there's nowhere else to put you guys whilst I get my coat on. It's actually been quite a productive morning. I got up at seven after Delilah had her last feed and I put her down for her last little stretch of sleep. I got my November favourites video all sorted and scheduled to go live in about 20 minutes. I got ready and now I'm about to leave Doug and Delilah home for the morning together whilst I go off to um, do more wedding stuff with Doug's sister. It is the reveal of her wedding dress that she's picked. I have seen a picture of it, but um, I haven't seen it in person. So I'm excited and I think we're all going to be there. So all her bridesmaids um, are going to be there. So it's going to be a nice little morning. So I'm leaving Doug and Delilah at home. I've also gotten a bottle ready for Delilah. So Doug can give that to her whilst I'm gone. I think that's everything I need apart from you guys. Hi. I'm good to go. What is my hair doing? Just waiting for my taxi. You probably can't hear it, but Delilah is having a little old sing song to herself. And of course, on the day that I get up really early and don't get much sleep because, I mean, obviously I don't normally get much sleep anyway, but I just couldn't fall asleep last night. And it's so frustrating because I'm like, this is eating into my sleep time. Um, she was quite good last night though. She sort of woke up every two hours, which I know is not great, but it's better than it usually is but of course i had to get up at sort of seven o'clock well technically half six because that's when she woke up for her feed and it's just typical she slept until almost 9 a.m on the day that i have to get up <laughs> i swear she knows i swear she's like ha ha every time mum needs to get up or she stays or i stay around someone else's house i'm gonna sleep in till nine o'clock i mean she usually sleeps in until sort of eight anyway it's not too bad i'm not one of these poor souls that have to get up at like six in the morning with their babies yeah anyway i'm gonna go outside and wait for my taxi Bye bye little one. She spotted me, so she might cry when I leave. Sorry daddy. <laughs> bye bye. See you later. Can't get it away. <laughs> bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's so foggy. My hair is just like... Right, I'm here. up doing exciting wedding dress stuff with Melissa and her mum and um, one of Melissa's other bridesmaids. We popped to Pret. I always say popped, don't I? We popped it, we popped there, but we popped to Pret and um, had a coffee and um, now I'm just waiting for Doug to pick me up from town. So whilst I wait for him and Delilah, um, I'm going to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Back with these two got um, a couple of Christmas presents sorted. Can't really show you what they are because every other person I know watches my vlogs. So I never know what people have watched. Like I'll, I'll meet up with them and they go, and I'll tell them like a little anecdote or something. And they go, oh yeah, yeah, I know I watch the vlogs. <laughs> so like, yeah, all my friends and family mainly watch the vlogs. So I can't show what I got. We are on our way to do some more Christmas shopping and listening to the new Bruno Mars album, which I am obsessed with. <laughs> Every time we get her in that car seat. We are finished doing, well, we've finished most of our Christmas shopping and doing some returns that we needed to do. We're gonna pop and get one more present and, oh my God, I can't get my seatbelt in. And maybe grab lunch or maybe we'll have lunch at home. I'm not too sure. I really need to feed Delilah because my boobs feel like they're gonna explode. Why am I vlogging? You probably can't even hear me. I've been moving for five seconds and now she's quiet again. Anyone else's babies do that? I've not fed Delilah since like seven o'clock this morning and it's now half 12. I really need to feed her. So when we get back, I'm gonna feed on one side, pump on another, because there is talk that Delilah's gonna stay the night at her Nana's again, which will be amazing. I can catch up on some sleep because I'm so, so tired. <laughs> I just filmed walking around the house and I wasn't recording. I keep doing that lately. I keep recording stuff, but not actually recording it, thinking I've hit record and I haven't. But we are back home. Christmas shopping is completed, although we didn't have a very successful second half of the shopping trip, but we'll just get that thing online. But yeah, we are sorted Christmas shopping wise. I'm going to wrap some presents later on today. 
But before I do that, I'm going to have some lunch. So whilst I pump for the next sort of 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to have a look at the comments on my new video that's just gone up on my other channel. Finally got my November favourites up. Came home to a parcel. There's a note. Oh, it's from Jules. Jules are uh, the people that made our pram. I get asked so much about our pram. I really needed to sit down and give it a mini review on this channel because I get asked so many questions about it and so many of you have asked for a review. I haven't really been able to sit down and like focus and talk about all the bits that I love about the pram but generally all in all to answer those of you who say is it worth getting the Jules pram it is I love it it's I just I even just what it looks like I love it but it's a great pram in itself but anyway so we have some tea some positive Xmas tea blend got a little Jules I think it's a key ring we have some wafers some yummy 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 got wafers wait waffles wafers waffles and a tea strainer for our tea. Now to get started on wrapping my Christmas presents. Oh my gosh, I have all this wrapping stuff. Where should I do this? Should I do this in Delilah's room or no, I'll do it in the living room. Right, so this is all the stuff to wrap with. And I just need to bring the presents in. I have a selection of string here. My camera is not focusing on anything at the moment. I have this string which has glittery bits in. I have these Christmas tags, um, sellotape obviously. I have some tissue paper underneath. I probably have some more in my drawers actually. I have some ribbon and then I have some eucalyptus which is half dried out and some of these fake red berries. These are fake thingies I picked up from Phoenix. I'm probably not going to use these actually. Probably just going to stick with the eucalyptus and the berries. And then paper wise I have this gold starry one, this brown parcel paper with white stars on, inky paper which I've really just got for a sponsored post I did. I don't even think I put it in the post in the end um, so probably I don't know if I'll use this paper but paper always gets used like Doug never has his own wrapping paper so here you probably use that and then I got some more parcel paper because I've been wrapping my presents in parcel paper for years so have some of that and I am going to do Delilah's stocking which I have had hung here for a while this is the stocking that I got her okay this camera may be quite rubbish with autofocus the older it gets but it is almost dark in this bedroom and it looks so light so one thing I like about this camera. Yeah, this is her stocking that I got. I will link it in the description, but it's from an Etsy store, so I don't know how many she stocks or can even make. This is a Liberty Print stocking with this gorgeous green velvet around the top. And I thought it was so sweet. And I'm hoping this will kind of be her stocking for, well, the whole of her childhood, really. I just looked in my drawer and I also have this polka dot tissue paper, all these ribbons, and some of this straw stuff. My presents are over here but I'm not showing any of them because I don't want to give any of them away. This is the look I'm going for, kind of. I'm thinking I'm gonna go have a nap. I'm tired and I think I will fall asleep. I don't really want to nap, but I think I will be glad that I did because um, we may be going out later. Not like out, like, mm, 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 like, <laughs> what is that? I don't think I should ever go out if I'm gonna go out and go, mm, 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 mm. But yeah, we might go out for a couple of drinks with friends. <sighs> I'm really grumpy now <laughs> because I went to go sleep. It took me about 40 minutes to try and get to sleep. I put my phone on do not disturb and Doug always manages to, 
to do this and I tell him like if like he's one of these people that if you don't answer your phone he will ring and ring and ring and ring me on the other hand if I ring someone and they don't answer I think okay right they're not by their phone or they just don't want to answer but oh no no not Doug <laughs> he will ring and ring and ring and I had my phone on do not disturb and all I can think is that like on the new iPhones when you like if your phone's on do not disturb if I think you can turn the setting off obviously for emergencies I do like to have the setting on and basically if someone rings you more than once or twice the phone will then actually ring on loud or it will ring on vibrate whatever setting you have it on so he obviously rang me again and again and again so that my phone thought oh it should probably ring on loud and it did and it woke me up and I think I was asleep for about 10 minutes I finally got to sleep it took me so long and I was asleep for about 10 minutes and then he woke me up and I was like Doug why are you calling me he was like oh um I'm just saying that um we're probably meeting um Tom and CJ for a couple of drinks at about seven that was all he was telling me he could have texted it to me and now I'm grumpy because I've had like 10 minutes sleep I'm gonna jump in the shower and make myself feel a bit better although I'm thinking like I don't even know if I want to go out I'm thinking shall I jump in the shower or shall I run a bath or shall I just run a bath anyway I'm gonna run a bath have a nice bath and like, I always feel like having a bath or a shower always makes me feel a lot nicer and then I'll see how I feel afterwards. I'm going for Lord of Miss Raw Bath Bomb because it is my favourite as I said in yesterday's vlog or was it a couple of days ago? Can't remember but um and this feels like the perfect day for it because it's so cold and misty today. Why this Lord of Miss Raw is possessed? It's never done this before. Oh look, you can see all the red there underneath. This is why it's my favourite bath form, it's so cool. Feeling a little bit better after having a bath. We are going to go out, but not for long. Um, we're going to have some dinner at home first. I'm just getting her overnight bag ready now. It's got some toys, nappies and some PJs. bag is all packed this is the bag that i use as her overnight bag it zips up unlike the other one i mean the other one is good but this one just kind of fits everything in it this is the jewels one that came with oh well it didn't come with the pram it's the one that matches the pram she's got her nappies changing mat all her like changing nappy stuff she's got her bottles in here in here she has um change clothes for tomorrow and her uh, like bibs and sleep suit and stuff. This is her sleeping bag. I can usually fit this in, but I don't think it's gonna fit in today. She has a little book and some toys and this little squeaky thing that she loves and her giraffe and uh, a teether and some more stuff down here and like a little bit of fabric and just toy stuff that she loves. And then her monitor. Delilah's gone now. I feel sad. I feel like I've not seen her that much today, even though I spent the whole day with her, really. Yeah, that was, like, really rushed. It was, like, one minute I was just, like, casually, like, doing the bottles, getting her bag ready, and then Doug's parents are here, and I was like, oh, I've got to get stuff ready. So I didn't really get much time to have cuddles with her before, but I fed her um, just now before she went. And now we're going to have some dinner quickly before I then bung some clothes on, because I can't really go out in my PJs and my jumper. We're going to have a quick dinner of pumpkin and sage can't say that but Quite it's pasta time. really i mean it's pretty much ravioli i don't know what the difference is and some tomato sauce i'm just getting my bits together now i've got dressed again and uh we're just about to jump into a cab and go meet tom and cj and have a couple of drinks and then come back home and sleep so i'm gonna end the vlog here because there's no point in me taking the camera out i won't film much and it will take up my whole bag and then when we get back we're just gonna go to sleep so i'm gonna say goodbye now and i will see you guys tomorrow Bye.